In a house who keeps winning, the volleyball team. What a back and forth they had to bring home the golden spike once again. They lose 3-2 on a reverse sweep to the Rams in Boulder, then return the favor on Friday night. A reverse sweep, 3-2 win over the Rams. Like I said, the golden spike still at home. So a nice victory by the volleyball team and now wrap up non-conference play, getting into Pac-12 conference play, opening up league play on Thursday, hosting Utah at the CU Event Center. Back at the Stampede, voice of the bus, Mark Johnson, double overtime win in football in the Rocky Mountain Showdown for the Colorado the Buffaloes. Coach Prime and company are 3-0. A guy that was a huge part of this game. Had two touchdowns in double overtime. One of the first overtime, one of the second. Former walk-on receiver who's now a tight end, Mikey Harrison. We talked to him after the game. Motion man through the backfield. Shadur takes a snap, drops to throw, scans, throws over the middle. Mikey Harrison grab with the five. Hands hold. Touchdown. Touchdown, Colorado. And he was a big part of this one. In fact, uh, Michael ends up with seven targets, seven catches, 76 yards, a couple of touchdowns. That was one whale of a ball game out there. Was that fun? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'm just glad we uh, got the dub. We don't, we don't lose at home, so. Trying to keep that, keep that all season. So, Mike, a big place for you down the stretch in this ball game. Yeah. I mean, and, and you know, in this contest early on, it was kind of tough sledding out there. Why did you guys find some traction in the second half? Uh, I don't know. It's hard to tell. I mean, we switched up personnel a couple times and started to find a rhythm uh, going into the second half. We got the ball back. So, um, I mean, I feel like this kind of happened against Nebraska. And at the end of the day, the whole the whole offense just trusts Coach Lewis, and uh, we know we're going to get it, everything sorted out at the end of the day. So. Uh, we just stick to the plan, and uh, Coach Prime told us at halftime, you know, this is this is like this is where you uh, find some resilience in yourself, and uh, you're not going to just let a team come in here and walk all over you, especially uh, a rival game like CSU. So, uh, I guess, I guess the, we just all had a we're not going to lose this game mentality, even if. Uh, Things weren't going as smoothly as we wanted them to, so we just stayed the course and got the win. You know, I was talking to Xavier Weaver in a pregame show today, and I asked him about, you know, being a receiver out there when you've got a guy like Shadour Sanders. And he said, you better be ready because when he moves, you got to find the open spot because he'll get you the ball. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, quite, I think quite a few of those catches were scramble drills. So, uh, I mean, you, you said it. I mean, at the end of the day, you got to be ready for the ball all the time. I mean, you might not be the first, second, or third read, but if you're open, he's going to find you. And he does a great job of finding the open guy um, if, if it's off the rip or it's off the scramble drill. So, uh, shout out to two. You know, it, late in this contest in, in regulations, you're down 28 to 20, right? Yeah. Rams have a heck of a punt, goes out of bounds. You got a 98 yard fee, uh, field to deal with. Take us to the sideline of what the conversation was before walking on out there. I don't even remember. I just, I mean, I was yelling at the whole offense. Everyone was yelling at each other. Like, we got to get, we're going to get this ball and go, go down and score regardless. And, you know, there's, there's no option right now. There was a fourth quarter or something like that. So, um, at that point in the game, it's everybody you has to just double down. And, you know, you, it, this, this is a drive that has to end in a touchdown. So, um, that's, that, that was the mentality. That, that touchdown for you in, in overtime number one. Do you recall that play? Can you take us through yeah. it? Uh, it was, uh, that was, that, like, what, like what I just said, that was a scramble drill. Just came back to the ball, and uh, two gave me a good ball to, to make a play on. So, shout out to two again. You know, here you come on to this program as a walk on. You're a wide receiver. They talk to you about moving to tight end, and you think, probably thinking to yourself, I don't know, what does that mean? What's it going to look like for me? I mean, it's really been kind of a wild ride for you in this program, isn't it? No, nah, definitely. But uh, I just remember early um, June going into July, Coach. Uh, Coach Brew and uh, Coach Lou talking to me about tight end, and they think it'd be a good fit for me. And um, like what I said, just trusting them and trusting this staff. We got a great staff here, so just trusting what they have. Even obviously at the first glance of that, it didn't sound like the most appealing after you played receiver your whole life. So um, just trusted it and embraced it. And I got great teammates. Uh, Caleb and Eli do a great job of getting me. Uh, got I said this early on. They got me, they did a great job of getting me adjusted to the run game and all that stuff. And uh, Coach Brew and Coach Zim done a great job of just getting me up to speed with everything so I'm um, just really appreciative of everyone on the on this team the coaching staff so lastly here here you sit now you wrap up non-conference play you're three and oh yeah. right uh, gut check win back and forth game down at TCU last week you guys struggled early but but end up rolling over Nebraska 36 to 14 and, and now this one here well what does this say about kind of the heart and the intestinal fortitude of this team the way it's played uh, it's a gritty team uh, we got guys from all over the place that uh, came here to find a home on a winning team and that's that's what we're gonna do so uh, um, you know, everyone on this team wants to win. A lot of guys came from, some guys have come from losing programs, winning programs. You know, I was here last year, we weren't doing too good. So um, everyone stayed the course and just wants to win. So. 
Mikey Harrison, a great story for Colorado. Big part of this one. Buffs win 43-35, improving to 3-0, undefeated in non-conference play as they take care of the Rams in the Rocky Mountain Showdown. Now Colorado opens up Pac-12 conference play. On Saturday, we're going to be at Outson Stadium in Eugene, Oregon. That's a 1.30 kickoff. Gary Barnett, Bobby Passavino, and I are going to hit the air at 11.30 Mountain Time with the Bubbly Stampede pregame show. Good to be wild as we get in the league play. That'll wrap up this week. The Bubbly Stampede on Voice of the Bus, Mark Johnson. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you next time.